Hey YouTubers, I'm Foop. Um, so I'm going to do a, a little video here today. Uh, it's about laminating. It's about using um, the big squeegee and laminating smaller prints. So I'm going to laminate those prints. I think there's like six or seven for my signs and I'm going to laminate it with that big squeegee. Um, and I understand that this isn't for everybody and I know that some people say, well, just run it through a laminator. I sold my laminator because I just, our business changed and I don't and won't laminate anything more than four feet, you know, long. I don't, I just don't have a need for it. Um, laminator sat for two years um, and I just never used it because I, I'm, I'm not doing wraps and I don't do uh, big runs of, of vinyl prints. Um, I do smaller stuff and generally it's, it's like three foot by four foot um, and sometimes smaller, but um, I, I've been using the big squeegee for, for, God, years, I don't know, six, seven years since we started printing because it works uh, really well for those short prints. You know, when you laminate, you always have a beginning and an end. And so you always have that extra that you have to feed um, to get it past the rollers and then cut off. And so it, it, it really does waste a lot of material. Um, using this method, um, I basically, I cut the laminate to size. Um, I trim it. Yeah, you're going to over laminate by, you know, a couple inches, but it'll save you some material. And if you're not doing really big stuff, like I said, it works great. Um, so I'm going to go through and get all this stuff set up and uh, hopefully you guys stick with me and I'm going to show you um, how to laminate uh, smaller prints uh, using the big squeegee. And uh, if you guys are interested in those, I'll go ahead and I'll put the link down in the description. Um, so that way you can, uh, I guess, uh, if you're interested in buying one, you can go check them out and buy one yourself. So stick with me. Okay, YouTubers, um, so today I'm going to laminate some of my basically 30 inch by 24 inch aluminum signs, and I'm going to be using the big squeegee. Um, now, someone to ask, um, you know, if I could do a tutorial on how I do this and, um, you know, some things to kind of look out for, some tips and tricks, or whatever. And um, so the first thing that, that I would recommend is uh, obviously know your medias, um, know what you're printing on and know the laminate. Um, different laminates, different medias have different backers and some have different feels. So as long as you're comfortable doing that, then uh, um, you know, that's the first place to start. Um, the second thing is having the right tools for the job. So essentially what I use is I use the big squeegee. Um, this is the 38 inch wide um, it doesn't have the handle on the back. I use this um, just with my hand. Now I do have I do have the bigger one. This is the 54 inch. Um, we've used it a little bit. Um, I bought this before I bought the laminator and um, I actually I've used this in a pinch and it actually works really really well. Um, I haven't used it uh, probably in about two years. Um, but you can see this is the 54 inch. This is the 38 inch. Um, the wider ones have the attachments on the back. Um, it actually has a handle. And essentially all this stuff is, is uh, PVC. Um, it's PVC. Um, this is uh, close cell is probably like a Comatex foam. Um, it has a nylon, um, I guess, protector. And it feels like it's a, it's a little bit of foam underneath of it to give you a little bit of cushion. But uh, this tape is replaceable. Um, Sorry, I just came back up. So um, essentially what it is and, and what we replace it with is this, uh, this Johnson & Johnson. It's a, it's a fabric tape. Um, it's for, you know, sports medicine or, um, you know, like if you break your fingers, I guess you can, you know, kind of tape the stuff together, but it's a, it's a fabric tape and it's got like a, um, it's kind of got like a, a, a soft a slippery texture to it. Um, so it works really, really well on these. I haven't had to replace this one on the 54, but I have replaced it here on the 38. So, um, and you can go through the big squeegee and you can get more tape and more padding and all that other stuff. Um, I don't know how many miles, maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe I haven't done miles, but I have done a lot and a lot of rolls of laminate with this squeegee specifically. And when you're working with the big squeegee, the biggest 
thing, the most crucial thing that you have to work with is having a perfectly flat surface that you're laminating to. Um, these squeegees are perfectly flat. There is no bend in them at all. Um, these are very rigid. Um, that's the, the purpose of this top piece is to keep this board completely rigid so it doesn't bend or warp as you're laminating because as you know when you put pressure down, you always want to put it down in the center. This green piece keeps everything nice and flat. So as long as your big squeegee's flat um, and your table surface is flat, this will come out perfect every time. Um, so again, that is crucial. Having your table perfectly level is one of the key, the biggest things that you need to know when you laminate and use the big squeegee. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some prints, I'm gonna cut some stuff off, I'm just gonna go through on how I do it and um, go from there, laminate some prints and then we'll contour and cut them out. We'll go from there. Print, laminate. Okay, so what we have here is we have our print and I have two pieces of laminate. Why? Because I have two signs. So I just cut two pieces. Um, and essentially what I do is so when my prints come off of the printer, obviously you have your crop marks and they're in the four corners. Essentially you need about two or three inches of space so that obviously you can get everything lined back up on the cutter. Um, what you can see is, so that's where I start my laminate. And I go about to the end of it. So that's, uh, that's basically what we do there. Okay, so now you're gonna look at the print and the laminate. And I've got a little dip here on my table, you can see that it needs to be fastened back down, but my material is only 30 inches wide and it fits perfect here. I have a Swiffer, and I have my knife, and I have my big squeegee, and I have a little squeegee. So those essentially are the four things that I need to laminate this. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the laminate covers these crop marks up here. That's crucial. So what I do is I push it up maybe about an inch or two over the crop mark. Make sure that that is where it needs to be. And of course this is obviously a little bit longer because both my media and my laminate are 30 inches wide. I'm gonna line up these edges perfectly as, as best as I can. And it doesn't matter if it goes over, if it ain't perfectly straight. The idea is to get it perfectly flat when you go and uh, squeegee down it. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this laminate back. Hopefully you can see this. So I just pulled it back a corner. And because this substance liner is pretty thick, I can actually pull on the laminate and I can kind of steer it out that way. So I'm only pulling off about three inches. Pull it forward for me. Trim off the paper, and then I'm gonna push this back up. Make sure that my crop marks are covered. You see my crop mark. And the other important thing to do here is Get the side lined up. And when you're positioning the laminate over top of the print, I generally leave about an inch of the print exposed so that when I put the laminate down, it grabs the print and the table. So that when you push and you can slide, this print's not gonna go anywhere. 
So, I hold my hand in place. I grab my squeegee. Hopefully you can see this. Kind of go underneath of it. And I start here in the corner. And I just push it out to the side. I want to make sure that it's on the media really good. I'm going to pick it back up. And make sure that I have enough room here to put the big squeegee down so I can get started going that way. Put my material, it's all lined up. So I'm gonna squeegee, laminate down to the table. Make sure that it's stuck really, really good. So that way when you push on it, nothing moves. Got that part down. Take my laminate. I'm gonna swiffer the back of it because I might have picked up some dirt. I'll tell you, that's the worst thing. If you ever get some dirt trapped up underneath your prints, yeah, that about kills me. Take my swiffer, clean my print really good. There we go. So now, with this rolled up, we're ready to squeeze it. So essentially what you do with the laminate rolled up, put this over here, so maybe you guys can see here. So, I think this is. All right, so this is where this is where your laminate is stuck to the table. This is where the laminate is actually on the media and then your media. And like I said, this is all rolled up. So essentially what you want to do is you just want to put the big squeegee right in that groove. You can see it. It just goes right up against those two and keep it as tight as you possibly can. Swiffer again one more time really quick. And the easiest way to do this is to go pretty quick. So I take this piece and I pull it up. And the reason why I don't push is because when you when you push without pulling up the liner, you're stretching the laminate. And so ultimately it'll stretch on the print. So I lift the liner, then apply. And that's it. I understand, I know a lot of people are gonna say, but you don't get a lot of pressure on the big squeegee. No, you don't. Um, I'll be the first to admit, you don't get enough pressure on the big squeegee, but it puts the laminate on the print, nice and flat. You're gonna get silver. That's just inevitable because there's no way that you can apply enough pressure with the big squeegee all the way across it not to get silver. But the good news is that the silvering comes out. Um, so what I do is I take, and this is a geek rat squeegee. Um, I don't know what kind of plastic that is. I assume it's Teflon. But I take the back, the smooth side, not the felt side. And as long as, as long as that squeegee is nice and smooth, you shouldn't have any problems. Now you'll notice some color variations if it's anything other than white, but I just take the back of the squeegee and it doesn't scratch the print and it doesn't scratch the laminate. I go back and forth and you don't have to do this. This is not a part of the process for the big squeegee. This just makes the print and the laminate look a little bit better. Um, because essentially this sign will probably be ready to ship in the next day or two. By then, all the silvering has gone out. It looks like a sheet of glass, and uh, you typically don't have any problems with it. So. Okay, guys, so there we have it. Uh, how to uh, how to laminate with a big squeegee. Hopefully that helped you guys out. I appreciate all the, uh, the likes and subscribes and the comments, guys. Um, anyways, and, if you have any questions, comments, whatever it is, leave them below. If you have any special requests, um, 
let me know. I'll try to do what I can for you guys. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.